Hello and welcome, Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Okie doke, I have this lovely gallery wrapped canvas. I have um, put masking tape to keep my bottom clean. And I'm hoping that this will go towards my gift pool for my Christmas gifts that I'm giving to family and friends. Um, I've done a few of these lovely kind of, well, that one's kind of more monochrome-ish and the green one. And I've just had so many um, friends and family order these. So I think, well, they must be liked very much. I did the background, uh, doing a really nice lacy background. So I haven't done it on this size canvas and I haven't done it... Um, in these particular colors that I'm going to do it in. So I'm gonna just give it a go and, and just go with the flow. Oh, I have this lovely sort of baby duck egg blue made up. So I'm going to um, definitely use this. So it gives a nice, and I'm gonna to try to use all the blue tones in this. Maybe the only um, other thing would be the black, I guess. So I'll give it a nice, coat of my husband's turned up talking to the dog so he doesn't realize I'm filming <laughs> so he's going to chat away so I'm just filming my dearest <laughs> chatting away to the dogs there if you were so yeah he's what are you doing now, dog? I'm filming so <laughs> just you know creating some other lovely creation this is a nice... Same blue as the sports car I did when I was young. Banff Blue, which was a really? golden colour. Yeah? yeah? What, this... I sort of thought he was like a duck egg baby blue uh, up in... Well, it, that was... It was Banff Blue that I... Um, is that the colour years ago, was it? Years ago, yeah, the old Holdens. Okay. That's interesting. Um, I might use this soft sponge brush to make sure the, the deep edges on my canvas are covered. I can do this at the end, but um, it, you know, it depends how you feel like on the day, I guess. So now I'm going to look at this blue, John, as though it's your sports car blue. <laughs> Is that what sports cars come out in this? No, sort of? I didn't. I sprayed it the colour. Oh, yeah. it, it was a yellow car in my... Oh, so it was, it was, a, yucky yellow so it was a John Cube special, special custom. Yeah. Oh, well, that, that um, definitely makes sense. Just going to... It kind of looks like a baby blue to me. Yeah. yeah. Matches your uh, skirt. Oh, it does too, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're seeing my skirt though. So. Anyway. Yeah. Should be a lot of fun to yep. create. Yeah, Righty-o. So that's nicely covered now. So that's my base coat. And I did really want to do a... Um, show you what I'm going to do. So this is this is the black and it's just mixed with Australian Floetrol. I was saying in a previous video that the Floetrol has gone up like over ten dollars it's gone up um, for a four litre here in Australia. So along with everything else that seems to be going crazy at the moment price wise I don't know if you're finding that whatever country you're in if you're not in Australia Prices are just going crazy on all sorts. Radio, I'm going to use the soft plastic file divider. I'm going to just drop it in there. And this is, oh, wowzers. Oh, that is so pretty. The background that it gives you is just beautiful. So even though this can remain kind of negative space, it's got that lovely lace to... When I bring you down, you will see what lovely effect that is. I'm going to always like doing this piece and I should slow down when I'm doing it. I, I kind of try to brush because it's a, I'm doing it for a video, but you shouldn't, you should take it really nice and easy. Take it nice and slow. Enjoy the process. Shouldn't be rushing it. Nothing should be rushed. 
Okie doke. So just place in the very tip of that soft plastic file divider or soft plastic into your paint and just slowly drawing it to you. Just the very tip, remember. So it's just taking that black paint over the top of that duck egg blue. I can't remember the blue John just said it was, but it was his custom colour. <laughs> Oh, there you go. It doesn't matter like I've missed a bit. It doesn't, well, it, it isn't. It's art, isn't it? It's, um, whatever you choose it to be. Wow. <laughs> the cells are pretty amazing that come up from that. I'm going to bring you down to have a little squizzy. Just look at that effect from something so simple. That was the Amsterdam paint in the swipe colour with just Australian Floetrol. So, so easy for you to give that a go. Very, very nice for a background. So on with the next stage. Rightio. Are we with it? It's gone a bit dark in here because I think Outside's gone real dark. I think we're about to have some kind of storm. Never mind. Radio. As I said, I want to keep it in the blue tones. And I'm going to do a couple of these. This is navy. So I'm going to do a couple of my puddles. And this is the titanium white just mixed with Australian Floetrol. I'm going to put a bit of that in there too. I'm going to try, try, try and keep it in the blueies, the bluey tones. I'm going to go now to the gorgeous um, turquoise. It is a really nice turquoise, that one. That's a global colours turquoise and it's really nice. Beautiful. I'll put a bit of the black in that. It's this what they call the cell activator that's hopefully going to bring me up some nice laciness. Um, and then I'll go with this. This is called a uh, bluish green. It's an Amsterdam colour. So I won't overdo it I guess with the colours she says <laughs> um, I'll go back and put a bit of the light blue in there again the colour that I did the background with I hope when I blow these out that it doesn't um, destroy my lovely cells that I have there uh, on the back rightio I'll just put a bit of the blue one again oh, slow down i'm trying to rush this and I always think because don't do long videos nobody wants to watch long videos they want short videos but i don't know to, to explain properly and to demonstrate it you definitely sometimes got to do a bit longer okie doke i'm gonna go over with a heat wand you'll see other people mostly use the butane torch the heat embossing one does exactly the same as a butane torch does. It uh, bursts air bubbles, helps cell creation. So a lot safer. Right here, I'm gonna get my favorite little blower. My baby Bayliss. I found this one in a charity shop. Lots of people recently have been sending me um, links to, I think it's called the same, a baby Bayliss, but it's not um, the exact same one anymore, but they do make an equivalent. So I will try and find links that I've been sent to show you guys. And I'm just thinking before I start blowing this paint, I've got other pieces of artwork sitting at the back and I'm thinking, uh, they might get covered in paint if I blow that about. So I'm going to kind of prepare 
move everything out the way that you don't want to get covered in paint. Okay, let's give this a go. Um, hmm. Might take it slower. a bit wonky haven't I? Oh I'm all over the place. Ah. Oh my goodness. Okay I'm gonna stop because I think I can correct anything that's going to be AWOL with some tools. So I might use my skewer to put a bit of shape in these. The bird sound is real. I don't know what kind of bird it is. But he's squawking away out there. He wants some attention. I think I better put some bird seed in my feeder for him in a little minute so it's probably would good look good on the spinner but I've kind of lost all that lovely background because and that is my resident gecko that is giving me his opinion <laughs> I've got all the wildlife in here I'll tell you now I'm looking for my balloon but it looks as though it's shriveled and gone so i will have to try um i think if i put some balloon work in there which still looks like the the bloom effect it just gives it a little bit more definition love those colors though but um probably would have looked better if i hadn't have put so much paint to cover this particular size canvas. My fault, because I don't, I overdone it. Overdone it, so I'm gonna just try and, ooh, put some, just a balloon work in here to get rid of some of the thick paint. You can collect it and definitely can re-kiss another canvas with that. But sometimes, as this is doing, it's kind of falling in and not, creating like a balloon kiss it kind of creates just other movement within your painting which I find equally as lovely as like the bloom effect except it's not all of the rigmarole trying to get the paints and the products this is the easy way this is the uh what do they call it when it's just a simple no uh Idiot's Guide to Blooming, that's me. <laughs> Righty, I'm gonna use this um, balloon. It's just got a little bit of water in, gives a little bit of weight. So I'll come back over where I've already just ballooned with the bigger balloon and it kind of gives it a little bit more definition in there. That's quite lovely. I just find that just doing this is just equally as good as trying to create kind of a bloom effect with just the blowing and it certainly helps you get rid of any thick paint areas that that you feel may not dry um, but I just find even if there's quite a bit of paint on my canvases it seems to absorb into the canvas and not very often do I ever get um, the paint cracking unless I mix different um, brands of paint that don't actually um, marry well together. Oh, I love to use this to get rid of the thicky bits. Transfer a bit of the other colours around. 
Well, it's always my pleasure. Remember the painting is for your pleasure and you don't have to listen to criticism if you're doing it for um, your mental health because uh, there's a lot of people that are always seem to be there even though they might call yourself friends that are willing to um, dim your light. Don't let anyone dim your light. This is for you. Oh, I'm going to bring you down. That is absolutely gorgeous. And that is just what it needed. Oh, just look at this. So happy with this, really. Oh, I've got a bit of reflection shining back up, but the colours are kind of monochromatic. I've decided to do some little balloon kisses in that. See, it leaves a really sort of monochrome Where's the ones I can show you a bit more a monochrome sort of effect in that lace and look at that that just on its own is beautiful and then got all these lovely effects in there and the cells and that <laughs> that's it that's my resident uh, gecko he's loving it because he's tutting away giving his opinion there you go this one hopefully will dry beautifully and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you do give it a go. So remember, just for you, your art room, your rules, your way. Let your light shine as long as it makes you happy. Oriety. <laughs> Alrighty, my lovelies. I will say bye for now. I hope you join the crazy lady tomorrow. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's absolutely free. Bye for now.